welcome back to One Crafty Ginger. I'm Mercedes. If you enjoy quick and easy craft and DIY projects, clearance finds, thrift store flips, and some rescue dogs, then you're in the right place. So today we have another episode of Treat Tuesday, where I whip up some treats for you guys to share and try out at home with simple, easy recipes. As always, a list of the supplies needed and the recipe will be in the description box below. And without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so for our doggy treats today, we are taking a banana, which you can tell this one's on the right side for sure. And then we are going to just mash it up with a fork. Get it all good and mash. Mashed bananas. And then once that is mashed, we are taking my container of Greek yogurt, non-fat, plain. I'm just going to dump that bad boy in there. Now the internet recipe, or the one I saw on Instagram, this is where it stopped. It was just banana and yogurt mixed together, nothing else. But you know me, I gotta be extra with my girls because they're my princesses. So I'm gonna add in some peanut butter. I'm just gonna add in, like you can add in like one or two tablespoons of peanut butter to this if you wanna have your dogs have a little a little extra in their treats and make sure that the peanut butter does not contain xylitol because that is poisonous to your dogs and then you're just going to mix all of this up so you know what It'd probably easier to mix it with a spoon that would be the smarter way to go guys Work smarter, not harder. Oh, that was a piece of kibble. Hold the phone. <laughs> That's for later. So you're just going to mix up your banana and your yogurt mixture until it's all nice and creamy. And if you want to make it in bulk, you could always do like two bananas and two cups of yogurt and like four tablespoons of peanut butter. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take just a freezer bag, one gallon, not a freezer bag, like just a Ziploc bag. This one just happens to be freezer. And I'm going to cut a tip off the corner. So we have a homemade piping bag. And you want to make sure you get the corner that's open and that's where you're going to try to put the bulk of your mixture in there. So I just rolled it up and then open it up and then I'm just going to scoop the mixture into our makeshift piping bag. I'm gonna get all of that yummy goodness from my babies and Dougal. Can't forget Dougal. My little Dougal. got our mix here. Now you're thinking to yourself, what are we doing with that? Well, I'm going to give you guys options because you know how I feel about that. So the first option for your mixture is one of these. It's called a Kong toy. It's like a hard rubber. They come in different sizes. It has a hole in the top. So to plug my hole, I'm going to take a piece of just the doggy's kibble, which got mixed in with the yogurt. So 
Just gonna fill the hole with that piece of kibble there. Wipe that off clean. These are great. You can stick them in the dishwasher and you're gonna turn it upside down. You can wash it by hand if you want it to last longer. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to pipe the mixture into the Kong toy and fill it up. And then I'm just gonna put it in this little Tupperware and I'm going to put it in the freezer because when you freeze it, it takes the dogs longer to lick it out. You could always give it to them fresh if you want, but that'll go quickly. I recommend freezing it and then giving it to your dog, especially like if you're, you know, you're working on something or you're busy and you wanted to stay busy and quiet. This is a awesome thing to have. If you don't have a Kong, no worries. You could just take a Frisbee. Pipe some here in the middle of the Frisbee. And then just smooth it out. Like that. And you can give it to your dog right away or as I recommend, pop this bad boy in the freezer so it'll last longer for them to lick it out. Another option, if you wanna do something super fun, you can take these homemade, homemade uh, little uh, popsicle kits and you can take it and, what am I doing here? Pipe it in there. Sorry, I get it so you guys can see. And then kind of even it out and then stick their stick in there like so. Pop this bad boy in the freezer and then you have a frozen yogurt popsicle for your puppy dog. And last but certainly not least, you can take the silicone uh, mats. This one I got at a store for a dollar, but they also sell the uh, ice cube trays at Dollar Tree that are silicone ice cream trays. And then you can just pipe some into the silicone ice cream tray mold. Like so. Getting down to the nitty gritty, y'all. Like that. And then I just kind of give it a few slaps on the counter to try to get it to kind of even out in the cube mixture. In the cube. Even out the mixture in the tray. And then you can wipe up any excess. And then you pop this bad boy into the freezer. And when you're done, it's frozen, you can pop out and you'll have homemade frozen treats for your dog. How cool is that, guys? So we got the ice cube tray, we got a Frisbee, we got a Kong. Oh, and if you want to buy the Kongs, you can buy them at PetSmart, Petco, online, Chewy, Tractor Supply, Ace Hardware. And then we have your homemade yogurt pop. So lots of options for treats for your puppers with that easy homemade treat mix. Thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you enjoyed today's video, please go ahead and hit that like button and give it a thumbs up. It's completely free and it helps me out. And if you haven't already, smash that subscribe button and join my YouTube family. We have a lot of fun here. We do all sorts of things. We do crafting, we do cooking, we do rescue dogs, we do hauls. We do it all here. It's a one-stop one shop for everything that you need for your entertainment needs. And if you want to, go ahead and comment down below. Let me know what you thought of this video. Let me know, do you have any babies at home that you take care of? Do you have any dogs, cats, hamsters, you name it, I want to hear about it. So tell me down below. And again, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. And until next time, goodbye.